How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another vlog. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm gonna be working on a 2010 Infiniti G37. We're gonna be doing two catalytic converters. They're difficult if you don't have a lift, but you can still do it on the ground. It's not that hard. Um, right now, first thing you gotta do is, let me show you. First thing you gotta do is, you gotta shoot some PB blaster on all the things that need to be removed, which is the two O2 sensors, and then all the bolts. One, two, you got two here, and you got three up there in the front. I don't know if you can see them, they're right there. And um, this one as well, because this one's hooked up to the catalytic converter. So what I use to uh, loosen them up a little bit, I use PB blaster. This stuff is better than WD-40. It does all the work. So this is what we're using to unloose all the bolts right now. I, I already unloosed the o, both of the O2 sensors. They're loose already. So um, we're taking them out. I already took one out. Joe over here trying to take, get the second one out. What's wrong, dog? Can't get it? Look, man, ain't nothing to it, but do you see this little clip right here? You press down and then you push it out. Try it again. Huh? You can't get it, bro. Look, push it down and then. Okay, hold on, hold on a second. And I forgot my tripod today, guys. I always keep forgetting to bring it to work. We supposed to do this job yesterday, but my friend, my customer, he didn't bring the car, so we're doing it today. So. I'll be right back, okay, you guys? Let me just put the phone down, and let me just unloose the, the, the sensor. So like I was telling you guys, I got the, uh, the connection out. I got it out. So now we're gonna start unloosing all the bolts. Go ahead, Joe. Joe's gonna unloose all the bolts. Once you apply PP Blaster on all the nuts, you gotta let it, uh, Damn, they're hard. Man, Don't worry about it, man. People gotta see the struggle, man, so they can see it's not easy to do it. If you if you want, use the breaker bar, dog. The breaker bar. Okay, guys, since this bolt's never been removed before, the arc is kind of stuck on there. So what we do, we use a breaker bar. Joe got it in his hand right now. Like you wanna put the put this like right here. So you can just swing that way. So you put a break bar. That that size don't fit. That's 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 looks like it's gonna fit perfect, eh? Oh, oh it's on there. It don't fit? Alright, try the other side. There you go. So one of them is out, then you do the second one. I loosen them up first, though. You hear me? I'll do the second one. There you go. Now, do the other two. So lovely when you got a lift, guys. I tell you, we've been doing a lot of hard stuff on top of the lift. There you go. Now, in my opinion, the hardest ones are gonna be the ones that are on top. Those are gonna be the hardest ones to uh, remove because I don't know how we're gonna get in there. So you gotta improvise, man. You gotta figure it out somehow. There you go. So we got the bottom ones loose. Both of the O2 sensors are already removed. Uh, what are you gonna do now? You, hey, how about you take this one out first, next? This one right here? This ball right here? Yeah, take that one out next. You already loosened them up? Yeah, I already loosened Both of them? Yeah. Okay, so just uh, go ahead and completely take them out. The the ones that we already loose, they're gonna, they're gonna come out anyway. 
Uh, I think this, the, the one right here from the top, the one right here from the top, we probably get it from right there. Or you can get it from the side right here. Look, from the side up here. I'm gonna take this out completely. Uh, you're gonna remove that part too? Yeah, it'll be easier for us to get in there, huh? Yeah. All right, like I was telling you guys, you gotta like stay focused. Don't stress yourself out. This is not a stressful work. It's just, it, it just takes time. So we're gonna remove one, two, three, and four to remove that little plate too. So we can have more space to get the top ones out. I normally do all the work here, but since uh, Joe has been hired since last year of August, Joe is uh, the apprentice, but he already knows a lot because he's been here for a long time now. Well, not for a long time, but a, a whole year is, is pretty much, uh, you know, good enough amount of time to uh, to learn stuff. So that's what we're doing. We're taking it out. When you work on cars, you're tuning them up, you know, that's what basically you're doing. Believe it or not, changing the catalytic converter will help the car run better. It's like a filter in the engine. It's like it helps it breathe better. So when they go bad, they, they glocked up and it, the engine seems to like hesitate to take off. So that's why right now we're having a problem with this car. It is not, uh, taking off like it's supposed to. So we got more space now. You guys see the, the other three bolts that need to be removed? You can see them, they're right there. One, two, three, and it should be able to come out. So this is for uh, Infinity G37. This is the 2010 model. We've been doing a lot of work on this car from brake work, to suspension work, to catalytic converters, to oil changes, um, tires, mm, the whole nine yards. So I have another car that I'm thinking of buying, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, it's a 1998 Honda Civic hatchback uh, with the LS motor already in it. I have to go look at it on next Tuesday because the owner is on vacation. Um, I'm thinking of buying it. I always wanted one when I was uh, back in the days racing on the streets. But um, I will shoot another blog when I go and look at the car and see if I can get a good deal on it. But um, as you guys know, my favorite car is the Skyline, the, uh, the Skyline R34. That's one of my favorite ones, the GTR twin turbo. Here in Atlanta, Georgia, those cars are not legal yet. I think they gotta be 25 years old for them to be legal which is pretty stupid. I don't know why we have to wait so long just for a, a nice car to be legal. Uh, I think they should just make them legal regardless because they're already old. They're like a 20 year old car. But currently I own a S14. And if you follow my blog, you've probably already seen it. Uh, that car stays at my house. I don't drive it because I'm trying to, trying to collect the car. So, I'm trying to shoot as much as content for you guys. But please help us grow the channel, subscribe. I don't know if I told you guys, but when we reach 10,000 subscribers, I will be giving away a brand new set of wheels. 18s or 17s, I'm not sure yet, but they're gonna be nice wheels. They're not gonna be the uh, cheap wheels. It's gonna be something nice. Uh, with a deep dish lip on it. Uh, something that, that, you know, looks good. 
I'm not gonna buy them until it's time to give them away. So whoever wins, I'm gonna ask them what kind of vehicle they have so I can get the right bolt pattern to fit their vehicle. And um, if you're local or you live close to Georgia, you can come pick them up or we'll figure something out on how to, how to get, get them to you. Um, you're probably gonna need a extension to get the one on top, bro. Let me see what size that is. Take it out. The 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 fourteen. Oh. Here, hey. You probably gonna need one of these tensions. I don't know if you have one of these guys. Here, put it on the. Then we need the long tension too. Probably need one of these. There. Can you reach it from there? Whatever Joe Money can't get, I'm gonna have to do it. So I will have to put the phone down for a few minutes and I'll go ahead and get it out. Uh, so right now we're trying to figure out how those three bolts up there are gonna come out. So let me figure it out and I'll be right back. Continue to shoot, okay? All right, man. So we already removed the uh, top, top bolt the bottom bolt, if you see that, it's already been removed. We've removed it already. So now, the, the one that's in the back right there, I don't know if you can see it, it's back there somewhere. So to get to that bolt, so we was having a little problem. So to get to the top bolt, you're gonna have to remove the intake, that part right there, that intake. You have to remove that intake just like we did on this side. And if you look straight ahead, you can see the bolt right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there, you see it? So, you're gonna have to need a thicker extension. The, the small one couldn't do it because the bolt is too strong. So that's what we're gonna do right now, remove that top bolt. That's the only one that we need to remove for the catalytic converter to come out. You repeat the same process on this side. You remove the, um, the intake, so you can have space to get the other one. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're, we took a five minute break because we got tired working on it. So we're about to uh, go ahead and uh, take the last bolt out. Uh, I went to one of my friends, his name is Mario. He let me borrow this tool because I don't have a long station like that. So I had to borrow it from him. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get to it. Bro, you can use my breaker bar. That's too too big, but what's up to you, whatever. This is like it. There you go, so it finally came loose. That's how you're gonna do the very top one. We couldn't get it out with the smaller one. The other one's a three eighths, it's a half, half inch, half inch dri uh, drive. Extension. So that's pretty much what you do to get the top one.
Once it's loose, you can just get it from the bottom, right? I'm just making sure, because remember, it's hard as heck to get it from the bottom. But, keep going, man. We're, we're straight shooting an uncut uh, video for you guys. It's loose already, you can take that out. That's what I need to buy. I'm gonna go buy me one of those. That's like a hundred dollars right there for the whole thing. You need me to hold it or not? Nah, you put the thing in my face. You know that the, the Vietnamese guy next door, he did have one, he just didn't want to look. They already fall on the ground. I told you to leave it unloaded. Hey, you see that thing couldn't spin. All right, let's do this one since we're already here. So like I was telling you, you gotta take the cold air intake out. I mean the, the hose for the intake that you gotta come out. One of the catalytic converters on that side already dropped to the floor. I have a light on because it's dark in here in the shop. The sun somehow is not out today. Then you have to uh, take that clamp out. Man. There's the pliers right there, bro. I'm just spinning it so I can have a good grip. I don't know why they put it like that, right? They should have just put it on top. G37 is a little bit difficult to work on than the G35. Yeah, just push it out. Push this one forward. Yeah, the clamp, push it forward. Look how I did it over there the other time. I know you did, but... Be careful with that little sensor, man. You can see the bolt straight ahead, right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. We got all these holes on the way. Uh, so you don't want to find find the find the screw first. Put 
だよね。<laughs> I told you to put it last, bro. That's what I was doing. Hey, this video is going to be like 20 minutes long. Man, why you keep moving the mic? Can't find it? I found it. Think it. So right now we're looking for the location of the screw because you can't find it. This, this side has more hoses on the way than the than the other side. The other side is like wide open. This side has the uh, I think it's the heating core hose that's running from the firewall. So Joe's trying to put the You got it, bro? So a job like this probably will run you around, I would say three hours of labor, two hours and a half the most. Um, it's taking us a little bit longer because We have to borrow some tools from my friend Mario. Mario, if you're watching this video, thank you very much, man, for letting me borrow your attention. Um, it's taking us a little bit longer than the usual. But it's not hard. It's not a hard job. You just gotta have patience to do this. Are you in there, bro? I said push it to the left. Huh? Push it to the left. Push it to the left? I can't even move. There's no space in here. You're, are you in? There you go, I think. No, it's not in. Bro, that's where I had it. All right, put it in. The thing is in the way. Oh, there you go. All right, guys, I will, I will be right back. I need both of my hands to help Joe to get this bolt out. But I'll show you the outcome, okay? All right, continuing to put the catalytic converters. So we already knocked both of them out. There's the old ones right there on the floor. There's the other one. Now we're gonna put the new ones back on. Hey, you, you wanna get ready with the screws. I hold it. Look, look first get the screws. Put, we're gonna, we got new screws and washers for it. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Oh, I don't think they go in there, man. No, I'm looking. There's two big. Oh, they're too big. Huh? Because I was just wondering. So, put the screw in first and then the wash. I already installed one of them. This is what it looks like, the new one. Yeah. Thanks for knocking it out. <laughs> you have to put a washer and then the screw. No, first the thing, this thing goes in and then the washer goes in the bottom. Like this, you know, I don't know if you see it right here. Put it on first. There you go, and then the washer. I'll give you another bolt. Yeah. I hold it, go ahead. Yeah. When the other bolt broke off, I thought the one of the, the extensions broke. I was like, what the heck? Oh, you're about to be tripping. It's not going nowhere? 
So there you have it you guys. Now we're installing the brand new catalytic converters on this. Um, I don't know how much my friend got them on Amazon. I think they were like 300 for both. I'm not sure. So we already showed you how to get the top, uh, uh, top bolt. You're gonna get it from up there. And then it'll come out loose. And this one's already uh, put on. We're gonna put it on. And then, you know, just put everything back together how you took it out. And that'll do it for today's video. I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe, hit the notification uh, bell, and support the channel. The, the more subscribers we have, the, the more content we'll shoot. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Highlight tuners, one, and we out.